dusty out there in the hallway. Come in here, up here. I thought what I do today, I can raise these up, is answer some of your questions. I'm lining it up now in between the build of the overflow box. This is not the injection method anymore. This is Tom Reefer's brain on drugs. I'm marking the acrylic with the marker. Blade spins this way. If I were to cut wood, I'd be pushing it this way against the teeth. However, with plastic, this is a workaround. There are blades made for acrylic, but this is spinning this way, so I will cut it with the rotation of the blade so it's not chopping into it like it would if I came this direction. Eye protection, if you want. Years ago, when I first started reef keeping, blue was the background color. Why do we like white sand? Because it's a nice look, along with the biological stuff it does. It looks good, so I thought, let's try white. Right, the first task at hand is to peel this paper off. I didn't do these perfect. If you'll notice when I put these behind there, I'm going to wait to see what the water level does in the tank. If the water level isn't high enough when it goes over the overflow, I can raise these up and control the height. Starfire is not cheap. Manufactured reef tanks can go upwards of 1200 or more at this size just for the tank. I can say that I'm saving well more than half of that by building it myself. This is just so if any glue oozes out, it's not gonna ooze out all over the table. And I put the clamp on, as you can see, and I'm going to clamp it and just leave it loose until I get the clamp in place. I'm lining it up now. See what I got going here. It's clamped on there and I'm gonna squeeze that together. So let's get some glue on here. It's kind of the consistency of syrup. So I'm gonna set that in there like that, pushing that up. All right, the next step is to put the next baffle in. This piece and this piece are level. A few viewers commented on how they would love to do it, but they didn't have the confidence level. And what I would say to you guys is just try it on a small box to start. What I'm doing down here is for stability, I'm putting a piece of acrylic. When I put the other piece in down here, it'll hold better. It won't just be the glue joint. That's all. I didn't do that with the tabletop saw, so I kind of Tom reefered it up, but you don't see it. It's just to hold it in place inside there. Okay, you can see what I did now. Put the glue on. Still in the working time phase. And now you can see that that's square. So the next piece is going to start from the bottom. The water will go down, it'll come up, and then it'll overflow here. It's about three inches from the top of the aquarium. Jim asked, how do I only have 4K subscribers? And I said, Jim, I ask myself that question all the time. So subscribe up, new viewers. All right, so you can see the water will come in here, up here, over. This could be the refugium area. I have to do something with the pump to kind of put a baffle so detritus won't collect too close to it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. The hole for the return pump will go in this area here. So this is a little preview. You can see what I was trying to go with here. So you get overflow from the center. And two sides. Then I gain all the extra room in the front. I get to put my contents from the six gallon maybe in this area and I also can put a pump on here. I plan on using an MP10, one here, one here, and one here. Maybe MP40, I don't know. I have to see the specs on them. And then the return will be right over in here. 
coming this way. Next step is to drill the hole for the return. One questioner asked about the thickness of the glass. I checked out some of the other manufacturers online. 3 8 inch glass or 10 millimeter, I believe, will do up to a 48 inch long tank without needing a brace. If you go longer than 48 inches, then you would need a brace or go up to a half inch in glass thickness. All right, we're back at the hall shop and I have this clamped to this piece of wood. This is where we're gonna drill the overflow hole. This is a half inch bulkhead, inch and a quarter thread. I'm going an inch and a half hole. So you can see the bulkhead from this side. That'll go down to the pump. And then from out here, I can set up whatever I want on it. So I'm gonna tape first. If you guys haven't noticed, the nice people at Heiger sent me an HG915 return pump, 1,060 gallons per hour, and it's got a controller on it, guys. You know how I like Heiger, the mini wave. So I'm gonna give it a try and then I'll do a full review on that. There's also a link in the description to their website. They have a new website where you can purchase their stuff. The only places I'll have to tape this are here on the inside, here on the inside, and around the bottom. But the bottom won't be that critical because you're not going to see it. spots here where the tape is, I know where the silicone can go because the tape marks, I'll put a liberal amount there and then I can set it in and it'll be nice. Someone asked if I could tape it first before I clamped it and set it together before siliconing and he was absolutely right. In hindsight, I could have taped all the glass and then clamped it. It would have been a lot easier to tape while it was flat rather than in the standing position. I also have to tape down this side as well as over here because when I do this with my finger on the outside I don't want any silicone getting on this section. All right, I put the gloves on this time guys. I made a little bit of a mess last time on my hands. So what I'm doing now is I'm squeezing a liberal amount up the edge here. Remember, you're not going to see this from the inside. This is not the injection method anymore. So I want this to go in without too much touching at all until I'm ready to make contact like that. Put some tape here and across snugly, I'm pulling that in kind of snug here. So once this is in place, I'll run my finger here and peel the tape off right away. All right, so you can see it from this side. Still taped. I'll take this tape off and I'll show you what it looks like. The next piece of equipment I'm going to make is the skimmer, and that'll be in the next video along with filling the tank, checking the pumps, all that stuff. All right, there it is. It's in. 